Hey there, amazing people. There's a powerful idea that has always stood out to me, one that can transform your life completely. And it's this, the real game in life is you versus you. Think about that for a moment. In a world filled with competition, comparisons, and distractions, who are you really up against? It's not the person sitting next to you, it's not your colleague, and it's definitely not some celebrity living the high life. No, the true challenge is with the person staring back at you in the mirror. You see, life isn't about outdoing others, it's about outdoing your former self. Every single day, it's about striving to be a better version of who you were yesterday. This journey of self-betterment is continuous, and it's a battle you fight every day against your own doubts, fears, and perceived limitations. Now, I know what some of you might be thinking, but what about all those things that get in the way? The challenges, the setbacks, the bad luck. Yes, those things are real, they exist, but they don't determine your fate you do. Let me take you back to a time when I was just a kid from a small town. We didn't have much, but we had a spirit that wouldn't quit. Every day I woke up early to work hard, not because I had to, but because I chose to see every challenge as a chance to grow stronger. That's what focusing on yourself is all about. It's about taking charge of your own growth, your happiness, and your success. Because the truth is, no one else can do it for you. Here's a story that always sticks with me. A man walking through an elephant camp saw these huge creatures tied down by nothing more than a small rope. They could easily break free, but they didn't even try. When he asked the trainer why, he learned that the elephants had been conditioned from a young age to believe they couldn't escape. So they never even attempted to break free. How many of us are like those elephants? How many of us are held back by beliefs that are nothing more than a tiny rope a rope that we have the power to break if only we realized it? That's why it's so crucial to focus on you. Because when you do, you see that most of the barriers in your life aren't even real, they're just illusions. Let's dig a little deeper into this concept of you versus you. What does it mean? It means setting your own standards for success and constantly pushing yourself to exceed them. It means focusing on your own lane, running your own race, and making your goal to be a little bit better today than you were yesterday. When you embrace this mindset, everything changes. You stop worrying about what others are doing. You stop making excuses. You realize that the perfect time to start is now, and the only person you need to compete with is yourself. But let's be honest, this journey isn't always easy. There will be days when you feel like giving up, days when doubt creeps in. And that's perfectly okay. Growth is not a straight path. It's full of twists and turns. The key is to keep moving forward, no matter what. And this brings me to the next important point, your mindset. Your mind is like a garden. You can let it be overrun with weeds, or you can cultivate it with positive thoughts and attitudes. Remember, you are the gardener. You choose what grows there. You're not just the average of the five people you spend the most time with, you're also the average of the five thoughts you think most often. So what thoughts are you planting in your mind? Are you nurturing negativity and doubt, or are you fostering growth and opportunity? Let me share a story to illustrate this. Two salespeople were sent to a remote area to sell shoes. The first called back saying, no one wears shoes here, no market for us. The second one saw the same situation and said, no one wears shoes here, what an opportunity. Same scenario, but two vastly different perspectives. And that's exactly how your mindset works. By focusing on yourself, you gain the power to shape your own reality. Your beliefs, attitudes, and actions become the architects of your future. You realize that the biggest growth happens outside your comfort zone. It's in those moments of discomfort that you discover what you're truly capable of. Let's talk about failure. You might think failure is the opposite of success, but it's not. It's part of success. Every failure is a lesson, a stepping stone. The only true failure is not trying at all. I've failed more times than I can count, but each failure was a building block for my growth, each mistake a teacher. The journey of personal growth is like planting a tree. You don't see the results immediately. It takes time, care, and patience, but eventually that seed you planted turns into a mighty tree. And that's how you should view your journey planting seeds of growth, nurturing them daily, even when the progress isn't visible yet. Now, Let's not forget about discipline. Discipline is the backbone of growth. Motivation can get you started, but discipline keeps you going. Think of motivation like a spark that flares up, gets you excited, but fades quickly. Discipline, on the other hand, is like the steady burn of a flame. It's what will keep you moving forward when things get tough. Sure, discipline is challenging. It's not always fun. But ask yourself what's harder, the pain of discipline or the pain of regret. The choice is yours, but remember, every small effort adds up. 
It's the daily actions, the consistent habits that build the foundation for extraordinary success. And here's the twist, celebrate your progress. Don't wait until you've achieved something monumental to give yourself credit. Celebrate the small wins. Did you keep a promise to yourself today? Did you push yourself a little further than yesterday? These moments are worth acknowledging because they're the building blocks of a fulfilling life. Let's talk about resilience. Resilience is the ability to bounce back, to keep going despite setbacks. It's about turning every stumbling block into a stepping stone. Think of yourself as a rubber band. The more you stretch, the more powerful your comeback will be. Life will always have its ups and downs, but remember this, every challenge is temporary and every obstacle is an opportunity for growth. Instead of asking, why is this happening to me, ask, what can I learn from this? By doing so, you turn adversity into advantage. I want to share a simple but powerful truth that's resonated with me for years. It's a truth that has the potential to revolutionize your life. And it's this at the core of everything. You are your own greatest ally. Now take a moment to really let that sink in. In this vast, unpredictable world full of both challenges and opportunities, who is the one person who will always have your back? It's not your friend, it's not your friend, it's not your boss. And it's certainly not that celebrity who seems to have it all figured out. No, your most reliable supporter is the person you see in the mirror each morning. You see, life isn't about outdoing others, it's about outdoing yourself. It's about recognizing your own potential and nurturing it day by day. And let me tell you, that's a journey of constant discovery and growth, a journey that never truly ends. Every day you have the choice to either be your own greatest ally or your own worst enemy. The difference lies in how you choose to see yourself, how you choose to challenge yourself, and how you choose to grow. I know some of you might be thinking, but what about all the obstacles out there? What about my circumstances or the setbacks I've faced into that? I say, those things are real. Yes, they're part of life. But they don't have to define your path or your potential. The only person who can truly determine your success is you. Let me share a bit of my own story. I grew up in a small town where we didn't have much in the way of material wealth, but we had something far more valuable, a belief in hard work and perseverance. Every day was a new challenge. And every day I had a choice to let my circumstances dictate my life or to use them as fuel to push forward. I chose the latter, and that made all the difference. You see, focusing on yourself isn't about being selfish. It's about taking responsibility for your own happiness, growth, and success. It's about realizing that no one else can walk this path for you. You have to be the one to take each step, to make each decision, and to learn from each experience. And that's empowering because it means you're in control. There's a story I love about a group of elephants in a circus. When they're young, they're tied with heavy chains that they can't break. Over time, the chains are replaced with small ropes because the elephants have been conditioned to believe they can't escape. Even as strong adults, they never attempt to break free because they don't realize their own strength. How many of us are like those elephants? How many of us go through life held back by invisible ropes of doubt, fear, or past failures? It's time to realize that those ropes are only as strong as the power we give them. You have the strength to break free, you just have to believe it. And that's where being your own greatest ally comes into play. Being your own ally means setting your own goals and standards and then continuously striving to exceed them. It means focusing on your lane, not on what others are doing. It's about running your race and becoming better than you were yesterday. Now, this isn't to say the journey is easy. There will be tough days, there will be moments of doubt. But here's the thing in those moments, you have a choice. You can give in to the voice that says you're not enough, or you can tap into your inner ally, the part of you that knows you are capable of so much more. I want to talk about mindset because your mindset is the foundation of your journey. Think of it like a garden. If you plant seeds of doubt and negativity, that's what will grow. But if you plant seeds of positivity, resilience, and determination, your mind will flourish. You're the gardener here. You decide what grows in the garden of your mind. Be mindful of what you feed your mind. The books you read, the conversations you have, the thoughts you entertain, they all shape your reality. You are the average of the thoughts you think most often, so choose wisely. Are your thoughts lifting you up or are they holding you back? I remember another story that illustrates this perfectly two shoe salesmen were sent to a remote village to assess the potential for business. The first one reported back, this is hopeless, no one wears shoes. The second one, however, saw it differently, what an opportunity. Everyone needs shoes, same situation, two completely different perspectives. Your reality is shaped by how you choose to see it. 
By focusing on yourself and cultivating a positive mindset, you start to see opportunities where others see obstacles. You begin to understand that your limitations are only as real as you allow them to be. Being your own greatest ally also means embracing discipline. Motivation might get you started, but it's discipline that keeps you going. It's the quiet, consistent actions that lead to significant change. Discipline is what helps you push through on days when motivation fades. Think of discipline like a muscle. The more you exercise it, the stronger it gets, and as it grows stronger, so do you. Yes, discipline can be tough. It can feel like a grind. But ask yourself what's tougher the temporary discomfort of discipline or the lasting regret of not pursuing your potential. I've never met anyone who regretted investing in themselves who wished they hadn't put in the effort to grow and improve. But I've met plenty who wish they had done more. Don't let yourself be one of those people. You have the power to create change in your life, but it requires commitment and consistency. Remember that progress is not always visible at first. It's like planting a tree. You don't see the roots growing beneath the soil, but they're there, getting stronger with each day. Trust the process and keep watering that seedling. Your efforts, no matter how small, are setting the stage for your future success. I want you to remember to celebrate your progress. Too often, we're so focused on the next goal, the next achievement, that we forget to appreciate how far we've come. Celebrate every victory, no matter how small. Each step forward is a testament to your growth, to your strength, and to your commitment to becoming the best version of yourself. Let's circle back to where we began. You are your own greatest ally. You are the one who can shape your future, who can decide to break free from those old ropes and embrace the fullness of your potential. So commit today to being your own champion. Decide to focus on your growth, to nurture your dreams, and to become the person you've always wanted to be. Because when you focus on you, when you become your own greatest ally, there's no limit to what you can achieve. Remember, it's not about perfection, it's about progress. It's about being just a little bit better today than you were yesterday. So go out there, focus on yourself, believe in your potential, and make each day count. You've got this. You are stronger than you know, and your future is brighter than you can imagine. Like, comment, share, and subscribe for content from Jim Rohn.